It's Monday, August. God, I don't know. Eighth? You don't know either. <laughs> you can't tell. Ninth. <laughs> ninth. It's Monday, August 9th, and uh, we're obviously not on the ranch. We are in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Why are we in Sioux Falls, South Dakota? It's uh, vacation time. It is vacation time. The week of the year that we can actually get up and and uh, get away from the ranch. We're planning on spending a few days. In fact, the entire vlog this week is gonna be all of our vacation as we travel through Minnesota, Wisconsin, and South Dakota, eventually uh, back to Wyoming. How important is a, is a vacation when you work on the ranch and how big of a pain in the butt is it? It's a horrible pain in the butt. <laughs> no, I mean, it's good. I'm glad, you know, we've been fortunate enough that we can take the kids on a vacation uh, pretty much every year. And they really look forward to it. And they've been looking forward to it all summer. And um, so I'm, I'm really glad that we get to do this. It is, of course, incredibly hard to leave everything. Um, thank goodness for Jeff. Yeah, no um, doubt. And I mean, it's just hard traveling with three small-ish children. They're not babies anymore. It's easier, but it's still like, like there's so much stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we uh, uh, we didn't bring uh, Rita, our mother, our Mom's mother-in-law's uh, RV this time. We decided to do it, do it in the truck. Uh, we're staying in an Airbnb in Wisconsin here in a couple days. Uh, we got some other surprises on the way for you as we travel uh, across uh, the. Uh, what is the what is this the I ninety corridor? Yeah, Where are I mean, we? We're in the Midwest. We're now. in the Midwest now. Yeah, we're in the Central Time Zone, which that still screws me up <laughs> every single time I have to deal with it. So we've got some more stuff on the way from you for you. Um, it is uh, a little bit more relaxed, and uh, we will be able to hang out and and hopefully uh, be able to get a few things done. We're on the road for about um, three and a half hours today to our next destination, which hopefully uh, you will recognize. Yeah. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay, your backpack's falling out. Your feet are all in. Wrong feet for the shoes. Oh, Lincoln. <laughs> we gotta flip flop those. No. All right, let's go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that's one of our kids. I'm not exactly sure. You because he's not driving. Thank you, goodness. You said you didn't wrap him in bubble wrap, so. <laughs> she has a helmet on though, so don't come at us. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we're back. We're in uh, the middle of Minnesota, and we are at uh, the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Zach Johnson's house. We have been invited, uh, so we are here. Uh, we are gonna record a podcast while we're here. And Erin said she wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you the sign. Uh, Aaron wanted to show you something right over here, so we're gonna switch like, locations here really quick. Record in front come on, of the corn. come on, come on! You said you wanted to be over here. You wanted to show people what this looks like. All right, we're changing locations. Look at that, just like that. Boom! We're now standing in front of the corn. Yeah. Is this your first? This isn't your first time to Minnesota. No, no, no. I it's my first time. This is the first time I've ever been in Minnesota. You've never been to Minnesota. I have never been to Minnesota yeah. before. I have never seen, well, yes, I have. I've seen corn this tall before, but there's no field of dreams on the inside of it. <laughs> that wasn't in Minnesota, was it? Where was, was the field? Of, that was in Iowa, the field of dreams. Dang it. Then my joke doesn't make any sense when I tell Zach that he should do a field of dreams out here. He wants maybe a racetrack. Field of racetracks. I don't know. So anyway, we're here. Uh, we are actually going to be recording a podcast with Zach and Becky um here in just a few minutes uh we'll show you guys some of that as it's happening that podcast won't come out for a little while you won't be able to hear the whole thing but we'll get you a little a little sneak peek of it um as we move through uh tonight will probably be a late night tomorrow we're on our way to wisconsin dells the wisconsin dells we'll see you guys there You pull down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got a squeeze chute. They go in and squeeze them tight. And it holds them close. Yeah. So, and, and sometimes use the thumb. <laughs> you got a warning first, though. Just a little warning helps. Brace yourself. So you're like, you like whisper in their ear? Or? Yeah, you just say brace yourself. That's all, that's all Aaron ever does. We're going to go about this process. 
Here, bite on this stick really quick. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tuesday the 10th and we are now in, well, we're just outside the Wisconsin Dells where we're going to be staying for the next few days. But in the interest of full disclosure, we actually ended up staying at Zach Johnson's place in Minnesota until about two o'clock in the morning. Uh, we got out a little bit late out of Minnesota and now uh, we obviously drove through that big old rainstorm on the way here. But uh, we did make it, finally. Kids are very tired. It was about a six-hour drive uh, from Zach's house down to here. So uh, the podcast that you saw us recording actually won't be available until October. But if you follow along with us, subscribe, do all the good things, I'll make sure I let you know when it comes out. Because it was a lot of fun and uh, very, very, uh, well, off the cuff for us, especially uh, more uh, really laid back and, and a little bit vulgar, I'll warn you. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and, and it was uh, it was just a hoot to hang out with with Randy and and Zach and and Becky and of course Aaron there, and and we had a chance to talk about what we do, and more importantly why we do it. So it was a lot of fun. Now we are just getting started on our vacation here in the Wisconsin Dells. We have a lot coming up in the next few days, and hopefully we get a chance to share with you guys pretty much everything that we're doing along the way. Uh, but we have just arrived at our Airbnb. And it's still raining a little bit. Um, I'm going to give you a quick uh, look around at what we have going on here. And I'll take you inside, give you a little tour. I'm sure the kids will want to show you around a little bit. But one of the cool things um, that we like about Airbnbs is the fact that, you know, you do have a house pretty much to yourself. Um, sometimes, you know, you run into an issue where there's neighbors and stuff like that. And that's totally fine. But this is actually a lake house. I don't even know what lake this is. I couldn't tell you. Uh, but um, this is a lake house that uh, the folks that own it, they, they lease it out as a, as a VRBO, actually. Right there is the lake. There's kayaks, and you can go out and do whatever you do on kayaks. A uh, little deck down below here, but I'm going to take you around the house. Uh, we're going to go inside and take a quick look around and uh, see our, what our accommodations look like for the, for the next few days. God, I'd kill for this rain. Lucy, I'm home. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Erin says she needs to organize. Is this the most stressful part of the entire vacation is trying to get set up in a new hotel or especially like on our way here because we were what two hotels this on the is way our here. Third location. Right. And so it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> in the military we did this all the time. It was like tear down set up, tear down set up, but Did you have three small people? I had a lot of people who were maybe about the same age mentally <laughs> as the small people. But yeah. Did they carry their own backpacks? <laughs> Some of them no. So speaking of small people, we've got Mackenzie right down here. We've got Grace hanging out over there. Uh, I, I promised people that I would show them around, but I think it might be easier for you to do it. You want to start the tour? Wait, we're doing a tour? Yeah, why not? You don't want to, you don't want to do it? I can do it. Okay, cool. I'll follow you around. You tell me. Yeah, really fast. I'll follow you around. You tell me about the rooms, okay? Okay, here we go. All right, so. What would this room be called, Mackenzie? Living room, family room. Living room slash family room. With a TV and a fireplace. Yeah, and there's a very cool fireplace over there. Very cool. What are you gonna cook for dinner? Noodles. Noodles. And there's cookies and pop tarts in there, so. There is a room in here where you are going to sleep. Okay. A bathroom. Everybody knows what a bathroom looks like. What's in here? Um, a door with a mirror. Okay. That leads into a double bedroom. This is where Lincoln and the sweet walking monster will sleep. Oh yeah, so let me tell you about this. So last night we're staying in a hotel uh, and in the middle of the night, so we got home at like two o'clock. We got to the hotel at like two. Uh, everybody was in bed by 2.30, probably asleep. Uh, I don't know what time it I was. I was sleeping on the floor. You were sleeping on the floor. I don't remember what time it was, but uh, I hear, um, hi daddy. And I wake up and Grace is standing beside the bed. And I said, Grace, what are you doing? And she didn't say anything. So I said, well, why don't, why don't you go back to bed? And Grace uh, then kind of wandered around for a little bit. And then she came back and, hi, Daddy. And I said, Grace, you go back to bed. Well, I think she couldn't find her bed. So she wandered around a little bit more. She came back. She said, hi, Daddy. I said, Grace, do you need me to take you back to your bed? So Grace is our sleepwalker. 
and uh, so that's why we're going to put her in this room along with Lincoln uh, right next to the master so that if something does happen, um, she'll be able to find us and, and we won't have any issues. Hey guys, we're in the Wisconsin Dells. We've got the kids and everybody with us here. There's some roller coasters over there. There's a White House that's upside down for some reason over there. No, the roof fell off. The roof fell off. And uh, right now we're heading into Mount Olympus theme park. I have forgone my cowboy hat for a ball cap because I'm going to lose my hat probably about 50 times. Some crazy roller coasters in here. What are you looking forward to doing the most, Kinsey? The Hades roller coaster. The Hades roller coaster and probably not getting run over while we're walking through a parking lot. I'm about to look through it. A Greek mythology nerd. I like Greek mythology. <laughs> okay. Kenzie says she's a Greek mythology nerd. So she's looking forward to this. So. I want to go to the haunted house. You want to go to a haunted house? Lincoln, what do you want to do? Haunted house. Haunted house, of course. And Aaron, anything you want to do? Not, not die of humidity. <laughs> not die would be a good Anything. Dying of anything would be a good thing. What thing. do you want, Dad? What? What do you want? I want to watch you guys have fun. Okay. I will come on a roller coaster ride with you if you want me to do that. Okay. All righty, guys. We'll get you updates throughout the day and continuing throughout the week from the Wisconsin Dells in, well, Wisconsin Dell, Wisconsin. You can say Wisconsin as many times as you can in one sentence. That's it. All right. We'll check back in with you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty guys, uh, we are vacating uh, Mount Olympus due to, whoa, sorry Grace, I almost tripped right over you. Uh, we are vacating uh, due to weather. Apparently there's rain, there's thunder, and sitting on top of a 400 foot roller coaster and, way high up in the air is and, not a good idea. And um, your roller coasters are made out of metal, so you don't actually, like the seats are made out of metal and if there's lightning, then you can get struck by it. You could get struck by lightning. So um, they've basically shut down all the roller coasters in the park, which, you know, unless we want to ride teacups or something, we decided that uh, we're going to go find something else to do. So, and hopefully indoors. Grace wants to go to a haunted house. Um, I want to go to the top secret place where there's a dinosaur coming out of the side of a broken building, which go, is kind of cool. Go, can you go in there? I don't know. Or is it just a statue to look at? I don't know. You can hear the thunder in the background, a little bit of rain coming down. So uh, we're going to continue on with our day and uh, see what we find. Yes. 
All righty, guys. Uh, we got rained out at the water park. We ended up uh, checking you out the the, the, the the well theme the theme park. park the theme park. Sorry. Uh, we ended up uh, going and checking out the uh, the science center. Then we went to Ripley's, believe it or not, which was kind of cool. Then we wandered around a little bit, and uh, now we ended up back here at our Airbnb where. Uh, this evening we came back. We had dinner. Aaron did some chicken on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, on the grill, and now we are walking down uh, to the lake, which is just behind our Airbnb. And uh, I'm going to start out by taking Mackenzie out with me on the kayak. So we're going to go out and kind of cruise around the lake a little bit, and then Grace is going to come out in a little bit and get a try. And Lincoln is going to play out here in the yard, I guess, while we're while we're doing that. Is that what you're going to do, Lincoln? Yeah, What? I would not know if I would get on or not. I'm going to get crushed. Yeah, if you step on mushrooms, you crush them. Good job, buddy. All right, so which, uh, we've got a few kayaks to choose from yeah, down here, Kenzie. The biggest? Have you picked out one for us yet? Which one's the biggest? Walking on squishy ground takes a lot of getting used to. We're not used to this in Wyoming. The ground is actually soft here. Uh, especially down here by the lake, so it's kind of weird to get used to. Which one's the biggest? Uh, just don't get all crazy with getting all wiggly or anything, okay? Just sit. <laughs> you gotta make it just sit there, okay? There's not this much water in Wyoming. <laughs> Seems legit. So, you stand up now. Try not to tip me out of this thing. I'm gonna put your feet straight out in between my toes. Okay, are you in? You're in? All right, let's try this again. Uh, we'll let you guys go for the night, but uh, we'll see you tomorrow from the Wisconsin Dells. I probably won't be wearing shorts tomorrow. Maybe not. Bye-bye. Here we go. I got on bye-bye. guys good morning and welcome to Thursday here in the Wisconsin Dells uh, another beautiful morning we are now uh, today is water day so we are gonna head first off we're gonna take a ride in a Wisconsin duck which we saw some signs for we had no idea what the heck a Wisconsin duck what is a Wisconsin duck a boat car thing with day. <laughs> it's a it's a boat car thingamajig and uh, we're gonna check it out and then we're at a water park for the rest of the day so um, hopefully as long as the weather holds out for us we don't have any rain in the forecast so we should be good to go so you excited Lincoln yeah all right let's get to it what's left of last night behind and I need to get some peace of mind and when I need some peace of mind I I know where to find it by the end of the road. So I walk and I keep on walking. Though the shoes I wear are a mess. As I walk, walk, walk and I keep on walking. Keep on walking Though the shoes 
Today we've got tickets for uh, Pirates Cove Miniature Golf. So we're going to get started on that. And then we're going to head to Hut Dunkin' Donuts, which we don't have in Wyoming. Or at least we don't with Gillette. Gillette. Is there any in Wyoming? I don't know. Maybe there's one in Wyoming. We're going to go there next and then see what we've got in store as we finish up in the Wisconsin Dells on Friday and uh, work our way home. Ready to go? We want to stay. We want to stay? Mm -hmm. Why? It's fun here. Okay. Alrighty, so obviously I do not know the difference between Krispy Kreme and Dunkin' Donuts, but it doesn't really matter. They're both donut places that we don't have. We are now at Canyon Creek Riding Stables for what may be the most anticipated part of the weekend, or the week. All right, change in plans. Uh, Canyon Creek, there's what, an hour and a half? Yeah. Wait. At least. Uh, to get on a horse. So we are going to drive to Red Ridge. Red Ridge Trails. Red Ridge. Something like that. Red Ridge Ranch. Oh, wait. <laughs> All right. said we needed to point out this beautiful hay field here next to us. Looks to be about 50 acres or so. Beautiful alfalfa. guys that's it from the red ridge ranch where we got a chance to go for a little ride the horse that i was riding his name was arrow and uh he was not having the best of days so <laughs> it was an interesting ride to say the least but uh for the most part he was he was pretty well behaved we had a couple issues that uh, basically made me want to put my camera away in case uh in case i lost it so you have to have a free hand to be able to film so anyway kids had fun uh, we are now going to get out of wisconsin head back towards south dakota hopefully make it to sioux falls tonight we'll see how we do on that one
it is what almost 10 o'clock at night uh, we've been driving on our way home heading uh, what west on I-90 we made it as far as Sioux Falls South Dakota uh, we've been driving for about seven hours and this is probably where we're gonna call it quits for the night Aaron is inside uh, seeing if we can find a hotel room here at the Quality Inn or wherever we're at so uh, being Friday the 13th, obviously uh, we made it through the entire day with nothing bad happening. Uh, but, you know, being away from the ranch, um, you know, the ranch is, uh, it, the ranch has a heartbeat. It has a life of its own. But not only is that a heartbeat a heartbeat, it's also a, a ticking time bomb. And uh, eventually something's going to happen on the ranch, so we can't be away for too long. So we're hoping uh, to get back early tomorrow we've got about a six or seven hour drive left and then we can uh, get our get our butts home and uh, get back to real life so uh that's it for tonight hopefully aaron can find us a room and we'll see you guys in the morning We made it home. I want to take a nap. You want to take a nap? Aren't you taking a nap? I'm tired. Right. Let's, uh, Let's unpack some stuff first. We'll go find the dog. Yeah, go find the dog. Jack Black. Okay. Uh, we are done with this week's vacation. Thank you for hanging out with us for six whole days as we traveled, uh, what? One, two, three, four different states. And uh, a lot of miles put on the pickup and uh, a lot of miles put on us as well. Be sure to join us uh, later on today on the Beyond the Ranch channel for our weekly live stream or our bi-monthly live stream, I guess you should say. Uh, you can find out from Aaron what exactly caused a horse to bite her and maybe I'll surely even show you the, uh, the bruise, maybe, who knows. That's tonight at 7 p.m. You can search for it on YouTube. Just type in Beyond the Ranch. That's it for this week's weekly vlog. We'll see you on Tuesday with a brand new video as we get rolling back at the ranch.